Hey guys, what's going on? Edward here. Today I'm going to show you how to do these uh, multicolor glowing lines around this model right here on Photoshop. And now there's a lot of tutorials out there, and they're actually showing you how to do it. But I just find a, a simple way to do these multicolor lines out here. So I'm just going to go straight of it. As you can see, I have another picture. I'm just going to start from scratch. Um, okay the first thing you need to do is just double tap here you need to unlock this um, okay so we're gonna go into layer sorry layer new new layer we're gonna call it I don't know let's just put something here white and uh, okay the next step you need to do is you need to go into the pen tool right here and we're gonna create the those nice lines around the model as you can see one click here and then just giving this nice curve around the lady let's see something like that yeah there you go and we're gonna finish maybe here yeah, that looks alright. Okay, so once you finish that, we're gonna right click on the line. We're gonna click stroke path. So we're gonna select brush. You're gonna see a bunch of options here. Just, just press brush and then OK. And then, hoop, what's happening here? No, sorry. I might have the. Uh, let me just fix that quick. Up the brush, but it's too big. Just gonna put it V12 around 16. I think it's all right. Now let's do it 20. Yeah, 21. Just gonna do it 21. The size of the brush. Anyway, okay. Again, sorry. I'm just gonna go. Where's the pen tool? Pen tool. Okay. Right click on the line. And then stroke path, brush, and then okay, there, there you go. You have this purple line. Well, it meant to be, <laughs> sorry about that, it was meant to be white, but anyway, it's the same thing. And um, okay, then, then we're gonna just click enter, and that's it, you have this line. So now to create the multicolor effect, all you need to do is again go to layer, new layer gonna call it um, I don't know black I don't know why I'm doing this okay so you click the other layer we're gonna work on this one now so over this one we got all we want to do is going to brush again select a very big size of the brush something yeah something like this size 168 and we're gonna select another color let's say um, blue I'm gonna paint over this it doesn't matter how how perfect you do it you just need to do, create paint a little bit over the line and, and you will see why in a minute in a second I'm just gonna paint again and you're gonna just gonna use this green neon green in this part another color let's try an orange okay orange around here and what else maybe purple yeah Let's use, let's use this purple anyway now after you have that all you need to do is you're gonna go in here in between these two layers gonna click alt gonna leave the layer yeah, you're gonna leave uh, just press la alt the tackle sorry about that so press alt and then you will see these two the square and the arrow going down 
in between them so once you see that you just click on it and everything will disappear and it will go like this so once you have that all you need to do is just zoom in a little bit and now we're gonna start deleting what well, it's you're gonna click on the on this layer right here on the white layer and now you can delete I don't want to be not being too exact here and just doing this for um, tutorial purposes I'm just gonna do it quickly for you guys so you can see you can take more time and do it right you know just gonna do it quickly to show you no it's not perfect right but anyway you get the point and here we need to delete here I recommend to use a soft brush you do this select the soft brush anyway so let's go straight here uh, the hair yeah it's gonna have a little problem here anyway you can fix that you can take more time on your job and just doing this for your tutorial uh, go, go down up okay so delete this one so as you can see it's a pretty easy step you can do in just a few minutes doesn't take that long and yeah I think that's all so I'm just gonna zoom back zoom out okay there you go you can see the the lines going around now if you want to do it more just add a little touch of it you can do double click and white layer and here you can maybe if it's too bright for you if the colors are too bright you can just pump it down the opacity not too much because it's gonna be transparent so you can you're gonna see the the lady through the paint through, through the line sorry and uh, so that's gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it in there 90 percent and what else you can do well you can you can try here you just by clicking you can see the effect that it's going contour and let's see stroke nope I think you're gonna add a shadow maybe yeah you can add a so it creates like um it gives you more depth of feel it depends how you like it anyway I think I'm just gonna no I think that's too much I'm just gonna leave it like that so that's it guys there you go you can see let me see the original one I have yeah, it's pretty much the same anyway you get the point yeah, it's really easy step to do it um, that's it guys thank you for watching I'll see you guys on the next episode oh I almost forgot I will show you on the next episode I will do this picture I will show you how I did this this is the original a friend of mine took this picture to another friend of mine this is a DJ and um, so just gonna show you how to do this lens flare all around here and this little thing and a few other stuff I will show you in the next episode so stay tuned thank you for watching leave your comment thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos soon every week thank you very much guys thank you very much guys I'll see you guys later